Alright, and here we go. This is our scene rendered. Just escape. And save your file. Save. Or you can just you can just press Control S as a shortcut. Martini to Blender. Yeah. Control S. I don't know what happened now, but whatever. Now we're gonna mm, apply some materials. So select the glass. Go to material, add new, name it glass, enter. Uh, we're going to be using the transparency. Check this one, open, select the ray trace, uh, and set the alpha down to 0 0.01, uh, I would say. Index of uh, you know in the Nils tutorial it says uh, 0 0.04 it didn't work very well for me so I will go f with 0 0.01 you just need to experience with this and change the depth to 6 that's it now select the this one here, our drink, press new, name the material gin, enter. Uh, we're gonna be using the Z transparency with the alpha again 0 0.04, 0 0.04, enter. Now select the toothpick, add new material. Uh, change diffuse color to um, R to about 0 0.29 uh, 0 0.3 would work 0 0.8 and blue to 0 0.41 enter alright Z to go to the wireframe mode, let's select the olive, add a new material, diffuse color, and change it to olive, enter, and diffuse color to 0 0.02, enter. Zero point three, enter and zero point zero one, and and change the the specular hardness to one three two. Enter. All right. I think we didn't. We have not changed the name of this this one, so it's gonna be to pick material. Enter. And try to save the file. Control S and confirm. So that should be just about good. Now we will change the material of our table. So select the table, press Add New Material, change it to Table Wood. Enter, and we will adjust some settings here. So diffuse color, change the values to R, 0 0.76, 0 0.76, enter. Green, 0 0.69, 0 0.69, enter. And the blue value, 0 0.77, enter. I uh, messed it up. Zero point no, 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 seven six six nine, and th the last one's gonna be zero point five one. I think, yeah, I believe. All right, that's it. 
take intensity up to one the specularity specular shader first change it to blin I'll just the the specular color to 0 0.99 I'm going with values from Neil's tutorial so do not ask me why I'm using these values uh, they work well and change the, the green one stays the way it is and the blue one 0 0.77 enter alright change uh, the intensity up to 1 the hardness to 80 enter and and this value index of refraction change it to 6.5 enter uh, we're gonna be using a little bit of reflection so take the mirror open it and set up the reflectivity to 0 0.065 enter great and we need to add some textures to that material so the texture icon press new change the name to surface Variation surf war that's a short cut. Enter. Uh, we're using the cloud texture. Just change the size to about 1.35. That should be all right. And the influence color, this one down here. We are changing values to red gonna be 0.4 and uh, the green point 2 point 2 and uh, and uh, the blue one is gonna be 0 and uh, we need to add another textures we are using actually three textures for this one so select this slot press new Name the texture Sherry Wood. Enter. And we're going to be using image. I'm sorry, not in here. Image or movie, but we are using image. Open. And as I said, zip file will contain all everything you need. If you'll download this PDF and zip file from Neil Hersig's website, so you can use wherever you have. This thing's located. I've got it on my desktop, so I'm using Cherry Boot open and completely default settings will work well for us. So, all right, we will need to add one more texture, which is going to be decal texture uh, to place actually that napkin underneath uh, glass. We are using PNG. Uh, picture with transparent background so for first thing we need to know we need to do is to place another empty into our scene so select the glass press shift s cursor selected and shift a add empty move it down just about you know in the middle in between of our glass and our table and scale it up to about this size go to object object and change the name to empty napkin enter right now select the table again textures add new texture and it's gonna be image again open the image desktop martini and it's gonna be this one open right here we need to click pre multiply then we need to change in image mapping from repeat to clip let's go actually stop tiling the picture 
and another thing we need to do a mapping coordinates from generated to object and we need to select the object here which is gonna be empty napkin and uh, it should work pretty well now make sure your camera view is okay you're happy with that and press F12 to render that will take some time now because we've got some reflections and everything uh, so I'll I just want to tell you, you know that this video is meant to be a kind of just the visual reference to Neil's PDF uh, tutorial I think his website and his tutorials are one of the best I have found as for Blender because uh, the way he's explaining ev uh, everything it's you know he's very precise and very detailed in his explanation so probably you're gonna have some issues some questions based on uh, while working my video tutorial because my explanational skills are not very good because of my the level of my English language so but I think that should help you to get the idea maybe to do the whole whole model but in case you have any questions I mean anywhere uh, I mean anyways if you you won't regret if you check out the Niels tutorial so go for it definitely it's definitely worth it so you see now the rendering is a bit slow but whatever we can see our transparency we can see the thing inside our table textures the napkin which is actually PNG picture with a empty as an object so I think it's pretty cool. I'm very I like it very much. All right, so I don't think we need to wait for our, our rendering to finish. We had a chance to see the final picture already at the beginning of my tutorial and in a short animation as well. So yeah guys, thank you very much for your attention. I wish you all the best. And maybe one more thing in case that you are young 3D modeler, maybe you should consider to model a glass of coke instead of gin, so whatever. And for us adult modelers, I just want to say thanks a lot and cheers guys. All the best.